Hi guys, welcome to Freebird 2 and welcome to React plus LLM use case in finance domain playlist part 8. So let's get started. So if you don't yet watch my 75 hard Jenny challenge playlist, please watch and learn Jenny for free. I will put the link in the description. So here I show you what is synthetic data. So it's artificially generated data that helps in validating the mathematical or statistical models and can train the large models that need the high amount of data with certain patterns as well okay the synthetic data is used in many places such as you can uh, forecast the market crashes you can detect the system failures or you can build the policies for your product you can also use it in the data labeling as well or in the fraud detection frameworks as well and the need of synthetic data will increase drastically in the future to train the large language models or the newer uh, machine learning or deep learning models and that need the data of certain patterns okay so in the finance domain we can use the generative ai to generate the synthetic data that can mimic the pattern that we need in the data so let's just say you are working in the finance domain in a bank uh, in a bank and you want to generate synthetic data that uh, uh, mimic the patterns that are already existing in your domain specific data so jenny can use the rag or vector db that can store your own data and large language model can generate the synthetic data using the stored data patterns okay so as i just promised this is our next project from this list and i'm building this project with the help of mistral fine-tuned large language model that is called zypher 7b llm so let's get started and build our Gen AI synthetic data generator project. Let's get started. So guys, here is our project that is Gen AI financial synthetic data generation. So we need to generate the financial synthetic data so that we can use it to uh, train our models or well validate our models as well and do multiple kind of tasks for there. We don't have enough data. Okay. So with the help of Gen AI, we can build the uh, synthetic data by using these kind of processes. We use the uh, open source data or we can generate our synthetic data with the help of normal means and then we can use the python to pre-process it and then load the data into vector db with the help of embedding models and then use the rag qa chain to build our whole rag llm based system that will generate a synthetic data with the help of large language model that is zyper 7b llm okay then we have to check the response and see if the data is good or not okay so if you want to uh, like see other kind of videos of this rag and llm use case you can also go in this uh, playlist and watch uh, all the videos that i just created until now or uh, you can also watch my 75 hard jenny playlist as well in which i explain jenny from the scratch as well okay so very first thing we just generate a synthetic data by the normal means because in that way we have your own data with you as we did in our last uh, video as well okay so i just gen generate the same kind of data here okay and that same kind of data will look like this it is the same data that we use in our past uh, video as well and then i just create uh, another column so here the difference is here i just build uh, another column in the prompt base without saying that you should do something i just create a column that here is the data and then I just store this whole data into the document format. It can be easily put it into the vector database as well. Okay. I just call uh, my hugging face embeddings to put it into the vector DB. I use the chroma DB here and then put that uh, document format that uh, data into this uh, chroma DB so that we can use uh, this chroma db in our rag qa chain as well okay there then we just need to uh, load our large language model here that large language model is zypher 7b meta so it, you can see this i load it in the quantized format because if i don't quantize it it, it will take up more space more time and more memory as well so I, I just need to quantize it before the loading so here i just uh, build my quantization configuration and pass it into while i load the model here okay it load the model com completely in a very short amount of time then i just build a query pipeline to build a single 
large language model function that can take up the prompt and can just generate the responses as well. Okay. Uh, that, then I just build this rag QA chain with the help of this template that uh, based on the following data, you can uh, generate the synthetic data, five rows. And uh, based on that, I just use the chroma db above as a retriever to retrieve the topmost thing that is matched with the uh, data that I just provide to it. And then it generate the uh, by response. So I just uh, pass all my data here. I pass all my data in this format and right, into the string format as well and pass it into here and ask it to generate only two rows. Okay. Then it takes all of my data that I generated above and generate this data. As you see here, the answer column is right there. And here, okay, you see this? You generate the data like this. I'll see this. So this is how it generate the data by mimicking the patterns that you have in your above data that you pass it into it. Okay, so the difference between this uh, generated data and the data that I just generated above with the help of Faker library is that the Faker library will not mimic the pattern of your own data. But with the help of GenAI, you can make that data exactly look, look like or can have the patterns that is similar to the actual real world customer behavior as well. Okay, I hope you guys completely understand that uh, how to build this kind of project data generation and in our next video we'll talk about the portfolio optimization that we will uh, optimize the stock market or the mutual fund portfolio with the help of uh, rag and large language models and so just be with it and we'll meet in our next video and if you want to know about prompt engineering machine learning and a generative way you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blog on medium we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much